some some vampire stories, both in YA and adult. Thank you. And we're here at lunch at uh, Coastal Magic, and we've got some readers that are going to ask Carrie some questions. <laughs> <laughs> I like these questions. <laughs> we were talking about Tom and the, the, the dream, what do we call it, the dream? Dream, dream lover. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, in Silence of the Wolf, he, um, he had a story, and um, the one brother was totally against that. Jake was his older brother. Uh, the oldest is uh, Darian, and um, both Darian and Jake ended up with um, dream lovers. And um, Tom knew he was going to get his, but he didn't. So that was a lot of fun to, to make something really different with him. And that's what you want to do with readers is, is you know, they expect something and do twists so that they get something really different. And that was fun. One of the reasons I love your books is you do a lot of research concerning uh, wolves and, and what was also unique about that book was that his mate was a coyote. Yes, I had done a lot of research about red wolves and <clears throat> there are two different um, points of view from scientists. Uh, one is that the red wolves are actually coyotes that have mixed with uh, gray wolves. There is only one gray wolf um, group that, that um, mixes with coyotes. That was something interesting. I'm not sure I put that in the book, but when I was doing further research, I found out that you know not all gray wolf packs from different areas of the country will mix with coyotes, but this one would. And um, so they've got these wolves that are, are smaller and are more reddish in color, and they believe, some scientists believe that that's where the red wolves are coming from. And then other scientists still believe that red wolves are a completely different species. That's why you had the argument in the book. Right, right. With um, the girls, they were saying who was first the red wolves or the, the gray wolves, and uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I had started I started that out in the very, very first book. Um, well, it's the section book in the, the series, but it's the Silver Wolf Pack, their first book. And um, the, the woman is a red wolf, the, the hero is a gray wolf. So that was kind of an ongoing uh, thing with them, was that you know the red wolves are first, the gray wolves are first. And so I had written several other books in the series, and I kept thinking about that, you know, because I'd brought it up a couple times, and so I thought, I've got to really address that, so that's when I started really researching to find out who was first. Well, if you go with the theory that um, red wolves are really coyotes mixed with gray wolves, then gray wolves are first. And if, if not, then it's kind of, you know, who knows. And in the second book in the series, you have a, uh, a big twist, which you normally don't read, um, especially about shifters, where they can't shift. Right. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, it, that's the thing. When you have a long-running series, you really have to make the stories different from one another, or you, what you're reading is just the names have changed, and that's it. So, you know, each time I had a book, I really wanted something different. With um, Legend of the White Wolf, that was the third book, um, I didn't have where, you know, both characters were human to begin with. So I thought it would be fun if, if the hero was turned, and then he turned the heroine by accident, because they're brand new, and so, you know, he doesn't know what he's doing. They don't know how to live as werewolves, you know. In other cases where I have had a um, character that's a human to begin with, there's a pack that's the support system. In this, they didn't have a support system. So that was, yeah, so it was really a lot of fun to do that. Which we, makes it different. Which makes it different. People want to read because it's, it's just different. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Zoom in. I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> secondary, favorite secondary characters. Yeah. Zuman Thompson. Oh, Zuman Thompson. Yes. Okay. So. Any uh, news on him? Well, he's. <laughs> yeah. He. I, I have him out. He's doing um, photographs in the out in the the wild, and you know he's out on a hunt, but it's a photo hunt, and so they did try to get a hold of him because they have a real situation in a book coming up. And um, in this book, it's going to be the very, very first book, and this is the first time you're going to hear this, um, that jaguars learn that wolves exist. 
So, so it's um, they they try to get a hold of him because he knows something about the jaguars and he knows something about the wolves. And he's human and he's not supposed to know about either. So, so they would try to get a hold of him because they kind of thought maybe he knew about werewolves. And um, and this is the jaguar story. And um, so when they do, you know, they can't get a hold of him. So they're trying to find out. Do werewolf packs exist? And that's what you find out in that story. Well, thank you for your time, Terry. Thank you. It's, it's always a pleasure seeing you.